What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, no, no. This is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Bunch of crunch army, man. It's time to change the world one person at a time, man. I don't care what you're going through, man. Make sure to always put a smile on somebody else's face, man. That's going to help you become a better person each and every day. Yo, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you seven creative maps that you can use to boost your gameplay to the next level. These maps cover a wide variety of skills, right? Such as editing, aiming, and a concept many of you guys have been saying you need help with, peace control. So there are even a couple of maps that you can use to get the charged shotgun in creative since for some reason Epic still hasn't added it yet. And based on our experience, they will turn you into a charged shotgun legend. So stick around because you don't want to miss this, okay? First, check to see if you're subscribed, all right, and that you like the video. We really, really appreciate it. Also, for today's question, what have you been struggling with the most in Fortnite this season? I would love to hear it. I really, really would. You know, who knows? Maybe we can make a video on it in the future. So let us know, all right? Without further ado, bunch of crunch army. It's about that time. Say with me, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, let's get this going. Starting off with peace control maps. So this first one by Raider464 takes the concept of free building and creative and merges it with the idea of learning peace control. And honestly, this might be the future of free building. But basically, you know what we got here, and I mean like right here, is a vast open map with a ton of structures already in place. For instance, okay, so if you see a ramp, you should be coning it off and placing walls, just as if you were boxing in on an opponent. Or if there is a box with an open roof below you, cover it with the cone and floor, then edit through and just pretend you're going for shots. So whatever you do, you need to try to cover as much as you can while at the same time practicing efficient peace control. So don't go overboard, just do what you think might be sufficient for a real game. For instance, take a look how Benji plays this one, alright? He's definitely free building a lot, but he'll stop and he'll practice common peace control scenarios when he sees them. What I noticed he worked on the most was wall control while moving between pieces and cone control on every ramp. Those two, I think, are the most crucial to learn. But if you're still wondering why this map is so groundbreaking, part of the reason people free build in the first place is to make building feel second nature, right? So with this map, you're doing the same thing with peace control. You might not notice results right away, but it definitely helps in the long run. So you should definitely check it out, guys, because just like I said, it's something that we can see taking over traditional free building. Okay, moving on. The second map that you can use to improve your peace control skills is a recent course created by long-term map maker, Kanbu. This map is a straightforward five to 10 minute course with lots of target dummies laid along the way. Anytime you see an empty space, you're supposed to build or establish some sort of peace control, which you then can use to eliminate those targets. You also need to pretend that the already placed brick builds belong to your opponent. So you never edit those, but instead work around them. Now. What we loved about this course is the fact that it has actual targets to shoot. So not only are you reacting to your environment, but also you're responding to where your enemy is positioned. And depending on the situation, you do different techniques, right? Which actually ends up helping you learn nearly every practical peace control move you would ever need to know. All in all, my friends, it's a great course. And it also includes a nifty timer. Yeah, I just use the word nifty. Comes in handy sometimes. Uh, but it also has a really cool timer that you can use to keep track of your best course time. But if you're just starting out, I wouldn't worry about that, my friends. Rather, try to master the different methods of peace control first. Then, if you ever get you know, to the point where you can just breeze through the map, you can use the motivation of setting a better time as a way to improve. But moving on, my friends, from peace control, next up, we've got two maps that you can use to become a beast with the charged shotgun. All right, who wants to know this? I know I do. Here we go. Well, I already know. That's what I'm telling you. Anyways, okay. But just so you guys know, for the charged shotguns to spawn, you and your friends need to be in creative field, at least at the time of making this video. So make sure you select play, not create, when you go to load in creative. Anyways, the first charge shotting map is Tito's Realistic Edits. And let me tell you this, man, like this has become our favorite method for solo practice with the charge shotgun. Why? 
Good question. Because while aiming with the charge is definitely challenging, what most of us need to get better at is knowing how to use it after building and editing. Basically, we need to get used to incorporating the charge into the whole box fight meta we're used to. And this map features over 15 different practical box fight edits every pro knows and uses, such as double and triple edits, ramp drops, and so much more, man. But to get a charged shotgun, the first thing that you want to do is go over to the portal marked as such, okay? And in there, you open chests until you find one. Once you do, take the portal back out, and really, all of these courses are insanely useful, so feel free to start anywhere. There are even instructions written for each course, so you shouldn't have a problem figuring out what to do. When you complete every course and you actually want more, there's a red reset builds button floating in the middle. Shoot that and you'll be ready to go again. The next charge shotty map is Shaka's Turtle Wars. When you load in, press the button to break every chest for a charge shotty. Then once you find one, run into the barrier to teleport to the arena. But essentially, this map is a free for all for up to 16 players. You fight, <laughs> you die, respawn, and keep going until the bills reset. And yeah, that's basically it. All I can say is the more players you can get, the better, right? That way, you're always gonna be fighting. And the rate at which you improve is gonna be so much higher. But even with just 1%, 30 minutes on this map is enough to dramatically enhance your skills with the charge shoddy. You'll start hitting twice as many shots and you're gonna begin to feel 10 times more confident in arena, man. But since the map requires creative fill, you ideally wanna bring some of your friends so that you do have some decent practice partners. And look, if you don't have anyone to play with, I get it. Okay, well, check this out, all right? It only takes minutes to find a coach to play with over at ProGuys.com. Not only will they play with you, but, but they also will tell you what you're doing right, wrong, and everything in between. Also, we've got exclusive courses and plenty of other learning materials that can really help transform you into a better player. Check it out. Okay, guys, back to the video. Next up is an editing course by, yet again, Conduke. He calls this one his controller edit course because it doesn't ever get to the point where it's just ridiculous, like stuff only keyboard and mouse players can do. Instead, it starts off with a lot of beginner drills that can just really ease you into tougher edits. Now, when you start and select your weapons, you're going to see four main portals. First, there's the beginner portal, which includes a ton of one piece edit drills. These are really, really only useful for anyone starting out or for any of you guys that have recently switched to a new input. Second, my friends, is the main course which features more complicated edits and one where you chain them. Unless you're brand new to editing or you're still having trouble performing basic ones, this is where you wanna start. And it might seem like a lot at first, but once you start, it goes by pretty fast. Okay, third is an edit down section which includes all the different edit down techniques that you ever need to know, right? The drills aren't as useful as the ones in the main course, but it's definitely still worth going through. All right, and finally, there's a Mongrel Classic section, which is really cool because the Mongrel Classic is probably one of the more difficult techniques to perform with a controller, right? And with how many this includes, you're really gonna start to improve quickly. And look, man, like I know it's called the controller edit course, but all you guys on PC or mobile don't need to worry, my friends, because you can get just as much value from it, all right? It might not be as crazy or souped up as some of the more advanced courses out there, but if you're a beginner or you're just trying to improve your overall editing speed, let me tell you, this map has pretty much everything you need. Now, editing is one thing, but if you want to get better at fighting, Raider's new 1v1 map has everything you need. Yo, this bad boy gives you 10 rounds of box fights, realistic 1v1s, build battles, and aim duels, all in one package. When you load in, all right, the map starts you off with box fights, right? I'm sure you've all done or at least seen these before, but here, and I mean like right here, the main things that you want to work on are peace, control, and peaks. Failure to place a cone in your box or even a single bad peak, whoo, that could be the end of you in a box fight. So always keep that in mind when you play. But after box fights, you get realistic 1v1s, which is really cool. These realistic battles have started becoming a lot more popular because I really think that a lot of pros have begun to realize how impactful training in a realistic setting can also be. Okay, there are no real rules, all right? Just do whatever it takes to eliminate your opponent with the loadout you're given, just like you would in a real match. And after 10 seconds of that, you're gonna go to build battles, the classic 1v1. So a lot of people say that build battles aren't a great way to practice anymore. Well, you know, a lot of us agree. We still think they're one of the better ways to push your building to its limits. Even if you won't ever be cranking like this in a real match, it's something that can help you rapidly improve your building mechanics. But lastly, my friends, you're gonna go to aim duels and here, you're gonna drop down and go to town on your opponent. 
There's no building, there's no editing, just pure aim. You're always given either an SMG or a shotgun, so when it comes to close range fights, this is an incredible way to practice both your flicks and tracking. Easily, this has to be one of my favorite maps so far, simply for the fact that it includes all different types of 1v1s, right? That way, you're not always going back to the hub and just putting in new codes. Yet again, some amazing work by Raider. All right, guys, lastly, we've got one more all-in-one course. This one featured in one of Fresh's videos where he challenged map makers to come up with a sweaty course in just 24 hours. And in that short amount of time, these three came together and they knocked it out of the park. And really, given our playthroughs of this map, it's a ton of fun, it really is. It's exciting. There's a lot of action and bots that you have to kill to progress, but also it's significantly sweatier than your everyday warm-up course. By continually throwing you around, you know, from aiming to editing and building, you get a very well random warm-up. And what we liked most were the sections where you have to defend yourself against bots that just keep shooting. Those were great because, you know, I really feel like it raises your awareness and it forces you to build a lot quicker, both of which are critical when it comes to effective building. However, one downside is this, that the course is pretty long, <laughs> taking anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to complete. But the good news is that you can turn off any sections you might not want to cover simply by just flipping the switches you see at the start. Overall, this one won Fresh's challenge, so you know it's great. And if you're trying to improve your skills in every single area, I think it really make a fantastic go-to. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, man, the one who is cheering for you guys, the one who loves you, the one genuinely is just rooting for you, man, and really wants the best for you, all right? Those are the seven courses that we think are the most useful for improving your skills this season. Just remember this, that nothing in life rarely comes free. You know, a lot of you guys ask us how to go pro, but to get there and even just to improve, you're gonna have to put in the hours. You really are. You're gonna have to grind. But I'm telling you, man, with these maps, I know you can get there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Make sure you're sub for future videos just like this one and leave a comment with whatever feedback you've got. We take all of that very seriously. We don't hesitate, you know, at all reading it. So don't hesitate by sharing your thoughts. All right, man, go after greatness because greatness is waiting on you. Keith Allen, we'll see you soon. Eat that bunch of crunch. I'm out.